it's another day it's another it rainy day <laughs> another rainy landscape day in new hampshire i was watching or not watching this morning scrolling through scrolling through the uh like lawn sites that all of our facebook that we're on and uh everybody oh you know what are you doing today because it's raining blah 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 and i'm like i'm still going to do a cleanup in the rain <laughs> i think that i don't know how common that is well time is money and new england you literally can never depend on the weather so you learn to adapt and drive through the challenges yes <laughs> i mean if there was snow on the ground last week so this week we kind of have to start going and there's even still snow banks but um, if it comes down to it i'll break them up with the tractor and spread them out and they'll melt out the one thing i will say is last summer did suck a bit i felt like it rained every single day it pretty much did and so like yeah, what were the going stats? from legit to well i think it was in june it rained like All it was like 90 yeah something. it was like 95 percent of the month every day it rained pretty much i think it was june um so i will say we're going from two of our biggest snowstorms late in the season to solid rain rain and more rain um so like let's mother nature <laughs> let's um let's be considerate of those who work outside <laughs> let's not have another summer like last summer i'm just thankful for yesterday having our new cujo shoes on seriously huge like shout out to them because we were kind of just skeptical i was i was about spending the money i thought they were great because everybody said they were great but i thought it was one of those like you know a bunch of hype and people get discounts on them and they're hyping them up and whatever no they're definitely worth it and worth the money um we samantha bought what are your boots called surge i, I believe maybe uh and, and like i have some boots. jags and bentley has a pair of what i think he got what you got but in a different color and the, they should be the here jags. today and then harvey wants a pair of the boots like the x ones or something yeah, I'd have to look all that up. But um, <laughs> there's not anyway, a lot. So we have like kind of a variety, and yeah. like this won't be my only pair. Like I really like those surges as well. I love these. And then for like winter time, I think I'm really leaning towards trying out some of the boots. So may wind up with like three pairs, but definitely <laughs> worth definitely worth it. Yeah. I can show you many many ways to cut corners, like we we're talking about, like the cheaper racks and everything. But when it comes to like you being comfortable throughout the day, there's like certain things that just aren't worth You're sacrificing. Not, yeah. You're on your feet all day. Cheap shoes, cheap boots aren't worth it. Uh, you are one of the most valuable assets or the most valuable asset to the business. For sure. If you're owner operator. Um, and your employees shoes. take care of them. So. hundred bucks, buy them a pair of shoes. I've been hundred percent invested in blenders for our glasses. Like what do we have? Like I have like six pairs. Bentley has a couple pairs. Harvey has a couple pairs. Going to get Samantha some. So love those for sunglasses. Loving the Cujo's for the, the footwear. Um, and you might dive in this summer and check out some pants. Might check out some pants. I don't wear shorts often. But depending on the type of summer it's going to be, I might have to give in to my insecurities there. I got bright white chicken legs, so <laughs> I don't wear shorts often. Um, but again, to be comfortable, I might give it a shot. So we might try out some of the, um, the Cujo shorts and pants. So that's not a paid promotion nope, by any means. That's just a we love that's it. That's just a we love it, and we want you guys to know they're worth it. All right, y'all. We're rolling up to where we're gonna continue the cleanup. Um, we're kind of thinking it's like a two, three day project, but with the rain, um, it might be broke up. It's not gonna be like so th really two, three full days. We did a couple hours, a few hours, hours yesterday. yesterday. Um, but the trailers are set up, everything's working well, and uh, we're gonna work here until the rain starts downpouring today, which is supposed to be around like one. We bought yet 
more Echo equipment yesterday. Again, can't say how much we love our Echo stuff. The PB9010 blowers. Uh, for years, we've ran SRM 225s. They're cheap. They're cheap. They're inexpensive. In that price range, they're light. They're reliable. You get a couple seasons out of them, no problem. We did just dive in and get. So we bought one. Now we bought one um, 2620T, and then we just bought the PAS 2620 because we got a uh, bed edge redefiner yeah. um, for that, and that'll run our power broom and our hedger and all that sort of goodness. So um, even more echo stuff yesterday. We're gonna get going. We've kind of going right from plowing to mowing or cleanups or whatever we're jumped around we are gonna do a 2024 like line up the trucks line up the equipment show you what's going on our mowers aren't finalized for the season yet we have enough to get going but we're selling buying trading swapping and then hopefully um, buying one new big buying bad boy. one new big bad boy not a bad boy <laughs> Um, oh, right, right but it's a bad boy. <laughs> Where, uh, if you've seen in previous videos, we are demoing a 61-inch right standard LG um, at the beginning of May. next month yeah. for my birthday. Um, so we're demoing that. I already know that I want it, but we're going to demo it just because they said we could. So, yeah, more or less. Um, it's all right. Right? We're almost yeah. there. Roll with us. Let's go see how much we can do today. Oh, there's a hole there. Well, this has plenty of sticks, huh? Maybe we just clean up this section and then go to the other side. We're just gonna do this tree first. The one I did. So now looking at it, now that the tree's cut up, I'm pretty sure whoever did the fall cleanup, this tree was down because of all the leaves under it. So question for you contractors. If there's a bigger tree limb down, like this one was, is that a not your problem or do you clean that up? Leave in the comments. I'm curious to know if we're going above and beyond or if you would do the same thing as us. Alright y'all, I don't think I did a video of the section we're at right now in today's video, but I know yesterday I did. This is where all the big uh, pine branches were and stuff towards the end of the video. So if you didn't see it, please go look. Go check it out. Um, let's see. We got some. We got this all blown. The ground's just way too saturated. And if we bring the tractor out in some of these areas, I think it's just going to um, sink in and leave a mess. So. We're doing piles and dragging them out. Um, anything kind of near the road, but we got this whole section looking good. Harvey's back, he dumped a load. Um, so he's gonna start picking up piles. 
we're gonna here let me Ooh, that was a big turn this section over here we haven't done yet uh, so we're gonna blow that and then the rain is supposed to really start coming down so um we're gonna pick up piles and I think it's gonna be almost time to pick up and go home Joe's throwing pine cones at me so a little bit more blowing and then picking up piles sound like a plan <laughs> Let's play who who does it better. Oh, let him get off his phone. Okay, go. Who does it better? Joe or Sam? Leave it in the comments. He made it look too easy. <laughs> go for Sam. Help me out. Help a girl out. <laughs> this is where a dump trailer is. We gotta do this because it's lower. Yeah. I just set them in there and hopped up. All right. Almost two piles done back here. We're gonna get this cleaned up. And then we're gonna hop across the road where we were just blowing, get that cleaned up. And then I think we might call it. It's raining pretty heavy. It's only supposed to get heavier. I was gonna say, I didn't think it'd be more than like six. Look at them new racks. Looking good. Pulling oh, property maintenance. What? <laughs> All right, we got three piles over here. Let's pick up. Slow this down a little bit. I'm walking kind of fast. All blown. Everything but the snow pile. Oh my goodness, my nose. My nose is running. Last pile. All right, we are done. Although I need to rake this real quick. Um, got the truck loaded. Gonna load up the mo trailer. We're gonna call it a day. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. We're at 909 subscribers. Oh, 91, we hit the big 1,000. Let's see how fast we can do that.
thinking about doing a giveaway, so <sighs> big, half, big exciting things happening this summer. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are subscribed, please share. Uh, we love the support. And Joseph, oh, I think his earphones are on. <laughs> we're gonna, oh no, so we're gonna call it a day. <laughs> Say peace out, YouTube. See you next time.